Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the competitive or smart bidding. We are about to release this feature. So what happens is, assume that we are going to make our bids on this collection, house passes by house. So what I expect the system to do is, I'm just going to enter my min and max values. The system is going to check the current highest bid on this NFT and it's going to adjust my bid according to my inputs. So let's try. Uh, I'm just going to find this collection here, house passes by house. So you see there are other options as well. I'm just going to go over them in different videos. I'm going to pick competitive bidding and I'm going to add this collection. You are also able to run multiple collections at the same time, but it's a different topic that I will explain in another video. So what I want to do is I'm just going to make my bits with token ID. I'm going to, you know what, let's actually pick one of these IDs. Uh, so this is 2975. I want system to start from 2974 uh, just to test if it works. And then it can go to the last asset, which is 6829. So my default bid is going to be 0.5 and I want system to go as high as 0.6. So what's going to happen here is it's going to check uh, the value, the current bid on this one and it is going to increase it by 1%. And it's going to make sure that my bid is the highest bid on this NFT. I want them to expire in two hours. And actually, this was another feature that was requested by, by our users. They wanted to place bids on NFTs which are on sale only. I'm not going to pick this one for now, but it's another option that I will explain later as well. So, okay, let's go ahead and submit our bits. Now the MetaMask will keep popping up. And let's see how it goes. So it started from 29.74, 29.75. This should actually be enough. Uh, because I'm just going to see the bits. So let's see, let's refresh it. Yeah, as you see, right now it adjusted my bit right above this one. It should be 1% higher, I think. Let's see. This one times 0.1. Yeah, as you see, it is actually just 1% above the current bit. So what happens is if there is no bit on the NFT, it just places my default bit, which is 0.5. However, if the current bit is higher than my default bit, but lower than my max bit, the system is going to adjust my bit right above the current bit on the NFT. However, if it is above my max bit, the system is not going to bid anything at all. We are going to change the interface on this a little bit. Uh, you can also, as I mentioned, can add different collections here, so you can run them at the same time. Uh, there is the fast bid option, there is the private key option for, this is only going to be for founding members. As I mentioned, we haven't published this yet, but this is soon going to be out. So I hope you guys like it. It's, I think it's going to enhance your bits a little bit and it's going to increase the likelihood that they are accepted. Have a good one, guys. Happy trades.